Yo, what's going on, YouTube people? It's your boy, the Gal, coming back at you again with another VV video. And today is a most beautiful day because we were able to wake up to see it. With that being said, we are approximately 22 hours and 48 minutes away from the next drop. Seems like forever, but it's finally here. It's the Ultraman first ever 2D digital artworks on the VV platform. And um, I know a lot of you guys have probably seen this information, but as I said before, part of this channel is going to be me documenting my journey. So this will be for myself as well as anybody who hasn't yet seen this information. And I think the cool thing about documenting your journey, well, especially with Vivi, because there's not many investments that you can actually like, you know, document where it's like people, where it's like actually interesting. But Vivi is special because your investments are also collectibles, which you can interact and play with. So this is a one of a kind um, platform or company. That's why I chose this company to make a YouTube channel over. And it'll be interesting to look back on these videos and see my thought process and how I how I thought the investments would go, and then to see actually how they went. So I guess that makes for more videos in the future. I can do like uh, what I thought then versus how it is now. There's a lot of possibilities. So if you, if you have the if you have the inclination to start your own journey YouTube channel, document your uh, VV, you know, journey, then I encourage that. But without further ado, let's get into the, let's get into it. So this is the email that a lot of us VV users were expecting to see. So it says, Dear the Gale, your VV account was identified as one of the accounts affected by the oversold Ultraman anime pieces. As we mentioned in the pre previous email regarding this topic, you will be receiving a free secret rare of Rise of Ultraman 2D comic cover. How to receive your piece? All those users receiving this email will be automatically issued the collectible approximately one hour prior to the drop this Thursday. Please allow for 15 to 30 minutes after 7 PST for transfers to process in the VV system. The collectible will automatically appear in your collection. However, you may not be able to open or interact with it until the rest of the series is dropped shortly after. This is normal and expected. We ask that you do not submit any tickets if you are unable to interact with it immediately. We thank you for your support and patience and look forward to seeing all of your content on the VV feed, on Discord, and on social media following the drop. Best the VV team. So yeah, this is cool. This is probably worth like at least a thousand. So this is uh, one of the cool things you can expect from VV. They take care of their customers, their um, investors, at least so far. So yeah. That's just that. I just want to show you guys what that looks like if you didn't get one. And let's move on. Rise of Ultraman Series 1. Only on the VV app, Super Ryan Productions, the Rise of Ultraman Series 1 drops this Thursday, the 22nd of April at 8 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, VV is excited to offer the first range of 2D artworks available on the platform. And what better introduction than the official comic art of the Rise of Ultraman? which artworks from world-leading artists such as Alex Ross, John Tyler Christopher, Ed McGinnis, Yuji Kaida, Scotty Young, Adi Granov, and Olivier Koipel. This series is the first of five, first of five the Rise of Ultraman comic covers art releases and the first 2D artworks offered as digital collectibles on VV. The Jet VTL, VTOLs fueled the K-Ray is operational and the beta capsule is primed. The Rise of Ultraman Series 1 is ready to go. Let's celebrate with Ultraman's iconic battle cry, Shwatch! I have no idea, but hope that was close enough. This series is available globally outside of Japan and mainland China, so that's unfortunate because Ultraman is really popular over there. So, you know what that means. Rise of Ultraman, Alex Ross. This is the flagship cover. And with art by the imitable Alex Ross, it's no wonder. Featuring a realistic, gorgeously drawn Ultraman standing over a throng of astonished civilians, the style and scale promise the reader that a momentous occasion is waiting for them just a page turn away. The price of this one is about $40, $39.99. It's a common, and it has 7,800 7, editions. Rise of Ultraman by Ed McGinnis Next up is a colorful and eye-catching action pose by artistic titan Ed McGinnis. Fittingly, this pose taken of Ultraman as he transformed his host and partner, Shin Hayata, is called The Rise. 
McGinnis is a self-avowed Ultraman fanatic and has drawn a hero ready to take on whatever may threaten the planet Earth. This price is $39.99. It's a common and it has 7,800 editions. The Rise of Ultraman by Scotty Young. Scotty Young is known for a hyper-emotive, expressive style that's often mixed with high-octane action. He successfully applied his skills to a number of different series and genres, from Marvel superheroes to comic book adaptations of the Oz series, even his own, not for kids, series, I Hate Fairyland. Here, that manic approach has brought to life a pitched battle between Ultraman and Gomez, the very first kaiju to appear in the Ultraman series, or more accurately, its predecessor, Ultra Q. Gomes he looks a little bigger than his most recent appearance in episode one of this year's Ultraman Z, but Ultraman is clearly undeterred, rushing forth to combat the destructive beast in front of the setting sun, a classic tableau of the Ultraman series. This one costs $49.99, it's an uncommon, and has 5,800 editions. The Rise of Ultraman, Yuji Kaida. Yuji Kaida is a legendary Japanese artist, known for his gorgeous, near-photorealistic art of various famous entertainment franchises such as Gundam, Godzilla, and of course, Ultraman. One of two artists currently living in Japan to be selected to create special covers for The Rise of Ultraman, Marvel Comics editor-in-chief is a big fan and has stated that he is honored that Yuji Kaida accepted the assignment. This cover has a dark, moody feel, fitting considering the subject matter. Fans are taken back to the burning, burning ruins of the classic era SSSP headquarters where Ultraman fought his final desperate battle against one of the most powerful monsters ever to menace the universe, the dreaded Zetan. The sense of scale is immense, equally depicting danger and excitement. The price of this is $49.99, it's an uncommon, and it has 5,800 editions. Rise of Ultraman by Adi Granov. Adi Granov is responsible for one of the most distinctive superhero designs in the modern age. Having been the man who designed the eponymous suit for the 2008 Marvel Cinematic Universe entry, Iron Man. When he's not helping to usher in multi-billion dollar movie franchises, he lends his talents to astonishing comic series like this one. With a scene of terrible destruction, the flooded ruins of a city devastated by the dreaded alien Baltan, hues of dark blues and grays threaten to end everything, but from but front and center, Ultraman, resplendent in silver and red, strikes at the Space Ninja to return light and hope to the world. This one costs $59.99. It's a rare and has 4,800 editions. I like that one right there. Of Ultraman by Olivier Coipel. Olivier Coifel is a French artist who is no stranger to drawing heroes. He is responsible for the critically acclaimed Marvel mutant series, House of M, as well as, part, as, well as parts of Avengers vs. X-Men. Perhaps that's why he was chosen to bring together two titans of the superhero genre for the first time, with Spider-Man himself sitting on the shoulder of his newest neighbor in the Marvel Comics line, Ultraman himself. Ultimately, this meeting is just a what-if, as Spidey does not appear in this issue and there are no plans to bring the Giant of Light into the main Marvel Universe, at least, not yet. This one costs $69.99, it's an ultra rare, and there's 4,500 editions. Rise of Ultraman by John Tyler Christopher. This cover variant is an Ultraman-style spin on the classic Marvel action figures cover. Drawn by John Tyler Christopher, in this 2D cover art, this Ultraman has 14 points of articulation, a swappable color timer, a spacium beam, and an ultra slash. If only this toy could be found on shelves. Maybe someday. Huh, the list price is $1 because it's a secret rare, and there's 3,800 editions. Okay, so my strategy initially was to try to get all of these since I'm getting this secret rare right here. But these are kind of uh, costly. They're more costly than I expected. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys with deep pockets out there, but the Gale ain't one of them, you know, not yet. Need this bull market to do what it's gonna gonna do, but um, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to pick and choose which ones I want. So um, I, li I really like that one for some reason. It's just pretty cool, even though it's a common. I think this might be a drop where I actually just pick the ones that I think are the coolest. I like that one too, actually. 
I like the feel of that one. It has a um, it has an old school feel. I just I kind of like it. I really like it actually. This one's cool. It's just got it's got its own little um, you know it's it's got its own uh, it's got a different feel. You know, still legit. Got a cartoonish, Looney Tunes-ish, You know, still like it though. I think that's kind of like my least favorite one though. Even though it's even though I, I get it, but I don't think it's for me. I really like that one. Like you just you can just like kind of sense the, you can like feel the feel the. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but that's what art is. Sometimes, right? You can't describe it with words, and that's that's the whole point of art. So I like that one, of course, right? It's the ultra rare. <laughs> no, it's the it's just the rare. Uh, yeah, this is the ultra rare. They're not showing it. Maybe I could probably find it if I wanted to. So my strategy, I guess, is is to go for probably that one right there. That one, and maybe that one. Because if you try to complete the set, you're a little over $300. If you got it, then cool. If you want to spend it on the 2D posters, then uh, that's your choice to make. I still got some decisions to make. So I'm just talking um, current current situation, what I'm thinking. So, yeah, that's my strategy. It was to get all of them. I don't know. I don't even know if that's possible because they're going to sell out pretty quickly. So, um, Yeah. I mean, I'm not the biggest Ultraman fan. I just, I'm just i just a fan of Vivi, and this is the first 2D drop. So any firsts, I want to be a part of that. Like the first interactive car, that was the DeLorean. That didn't really excite me, the car itself. But the fact that it's the first 2D interactive, that's what excited me. I love being a, bar- I love being a part of the firsts of anything, especially on Vivi. So just because these were the first, I think that's going to add a little extra more value. And also the fact that... Um, if you take if you look up here real quick, you'll see that this is available globally except for Japan and mainland China. And this is where in Ultraman is where these where it's most popular. So that's another added uh value factor for me. The fact that people from these regions are going to want to buy these since they can't get them during the drop. So yeah, there's a couple there's a couple of things the Ultraman posters got going for it. So I'm not totally opposed to trying to get all of them, but like I said, a little bit pricey, and I think I would rather spend my money on 3D figures, maybe. But these would look cool in the showrooms once they get them customizable and once they upgrade the showrooms and the man caves and the women caves and all that. So got some choices to make because I'm definitely not going to try to buy these off the second market because I know people are going to price these up like crazy. That's just how the game is right now. So yeah, we'll see. I don't want to be too long-winded, so... That's my strategy. Pick the ones that look coolest to me and go from there. So that's the video. Hit that like if you're going to participate in the Ultraman drop. And uh, let me know what your strategy is. What Are you guys, are you guys going to try to complete the set or are you just going for one? What's your favorite one? This is an interesting drop because I don't, I don't know how... I don't know how people are going to view these 2D uh, posters. I think they're really cool. Because once we get those uh, updated uh, showrooms, I think they're going to look really cool hanging there. So just what, let me know what you plan to do, and uh, good luck tomorrow. They should sell out quick because there's not that many. Even though they're priced up, I think they'll still go pretty quick. So good luck tomorrow, and um, peace out.